Welcome to the PE Department of Carmel College. The PE Department is a highly successful and thriving department in the college that offers both BTEC and A level qualifications in PE and sport. This video will introduce you to the team of staff who will support you throughout your course, will tell you more about the PE course that you are interested in studying with us here and will give you the opportunity to hear what our students have to say about studying PE at Carmel College. So let's introduce you to our team of staff. The PE department has five members of teaching staff. My name is Kate MacDonald and I'm the curriculum leader for the science and sport faculty and I predominantly teach on the A-level PE course. We have Gemma Garvin who teaches alongside me on the A-level PE course but also teaches on the BTEC sport course. And then we have Sean Keogh, Sonia Lal and Simon Verry who all teach on our BTEC sport programmes. The PE department offers A-level PE, the BTEC Extended Certificate in Sport, which is our one A-level equivalent, and our BTEC Diploma in Sport, which is the two A-level equivalent BTEC course. So let's tell you more about the course that you're interested in studying with us. A-level PE is a really exciting A-level. It's really big, it's really diverse and interesting. It is split into four key sections. We have component one, which is the physiological factors affecting performance. This is 30% of your overall grade. Um, it is a two hour 90 mark exam at the end of your second year. We have component two, which is the psychological factors affecting performance. And then we have component three, which is the socio-cultural factors affecting performance. Components two and three are both one hour exams and are worth 60 marks and they're 20% each of your overall grade. The final component, component four then, is your practical. Your practical is 30% of your overall mark in A-level PE. 15% of this is for your practical performance as a performer or as a coach and the other 15% is for your verbal coursework which is called your EAPI assessment which we'll tell you a little bit more about later on. So let's have a little look at your course content in more detail. Your component one, the physiological factors affecting performance, will begin by looking at applied anatomy and physiology. Much of this you will have covered at GCSE and BTEC, but we will look a little bit further at how the body systems respond to exercise, covering the muscular system, cardiovascular system, respiratory system and energy systems. We will look at the environmental effects and how these impact each of the body systems. We will then look at exercise physiology, covering really exciting topics such as injury and diet and nutrition. Although all of your lessons are theory, you will be involved in a number of practical workshops. This may include conducting fitness tests to collect physiological data to see the body's response to exercise and also taking part in a number of different training sessions to develop different components of fitness. We will then move on to look at biomechanical principles in sport and look at factors such as motion and projectiles. Thanks Kate. It's now time to move on to my section of study. So in the first year of study we focus on topics such as the classification of skill, practice types and methods along with the use of feedback and guidance to improve performance. Now a lot of these topics you would have studied at GCSE and just like other areas of your course we just go into these in a lot more detail. We also look at the role of memory and skill acquisition as well as the transferable nature of skills across different sports. These particular areas of study will enable you to apply them directly to your competitive sports outside of the classroom and you'll be able to develop a better understanding and appreciation of your own performance. This is really important when it links into the practical aspect of your course and particularly the verbal coursework element which is known as EAPI. In the second year of your study there is a much heavier focus on the psychological elements of sport and sports performance. We look at individual differences between sports performers in terms of their personalities and attitudes along with the reasons they give for winning and losing and that is known as attribution. We look at the causes and effects of aggressive acts within sport and how aggressive acts can be minimised in order to optimise performance. This is also linked to theories of arousal 
uh, which is another topic that we cover. Later in the course, we investigate the issues around confidence for sports performers and the effects that audience may, an audience may play during games, including the idea of home field advantage. Leading up to the exams, we also look at a topic called stress management, which is particularly important and will help you manage the stressful situations that your exams may bring. Component three, socio-cultural issues in physical activity and sport. We will start your studies here in the 1600s, looking at the sport and pastimes that people would participate in in Britain before the Industrial Revolution. We will look specifically at how society shapes sports. We will then look at the evolution of sport throughout the centuries. We will then move on to look at global sporting events. These will include events such as the World Cup and the Olympic Games. We will look at the history of the Olympic Games and major political events that have taken place within the Olympics over the course of the 20th century. We will look at the impact of hosting one of these major games today, including the impact on the economy, political implications of hosting a major games and the impact on sport and the society of hosting a major event. We will then move on to look at contemporary issues in physical activity in sport, beginning with ethics and deviance in sport. This will involve looking at violence and drugs in sport, as well as gambling in sport. We will look at why athletes are deviant, and we will look at the implications of this deviance on sport, but also Practical assessment in A-level PE. All students are practically assessed in one sport for A-level PE and you must be competing at a minimum of club level and maintain this involvement throughout the duration of your course. Students can also be practically assessed coaching. Attendance at training sessions for sports that we deliver on site is a compulsory element of the PE course. This will include sports such as football, rugby, netball and basketball and all students will be required to attend practical moderations. Students will also be responsible for recording footage of their performance and keeping an up-to-date competition diary. In addition to your practical assessment, you will also complete a verbal analysis of performance. The practical assessment will make up 30% of your overall grade. Let me tell you what it's like to study A-level PE at Calm. My name's James Mooney and whilst at Carmel College, I studied A-level PE, Maths and Chemistry. While studying, I also played semi-professional football for Prescott Cables and competed nationally in athletics for Liverpool Harriers. In PE, I managed to achieve an A-star and now attend Liverpool John Moores University studying sports and exercise science. In PE, I enjoyed how the current course content is Studying how sport is changing every day helps to make it relevant and interesting. I was also able to use what I learned in the classroom to improve my performance outside. The physiology area of the course enabled me to see the advantages of particular recovery methods and training techniques. These were things I was able to apply to my own performance. This led to considerable improvements. Carmel provided me with many opportunities to take part in sport and enrichment and I particularly enjoy being a part of the football team. During my course I was able to visit universities and met with people working in elite sports in a number of roles. These opportunities not only helped me to improve my knowledge of sport and PE but also aided me massively in deciding my career path. I decided to pursue a master's degree in sports and exercise science and I hope to work on elite sport in the future. To help you get the grades that you want to achieve, I would advise you to use the amazing and responsive resources around you, such as your tutors, your peers and former pupils such as myself. I'd like to wish you all the best of luck in the future. As a result of the high levels of support available to our students and the excellent standards of teaching and learning, our students do fantastically well in their exams and as a result many of them go on to study sport in some of the most prestigious universities in the country. We hope that this video has been informative 
and told you everything you need to know about studying A-level PE with us here at Karma College. If you do want to know more about what we're doing with the department and with the students, then please follow us on Twitter and Instagram for up-to-date news.